Hey guys, Dr. Ed here, or at least my hands are, for your healthy video thought of the week. Uh, I get a lot of requests and, and, and questions about uh, how to make better choices when it comes to the foods that you eat and the diet that you partake in, uh, and I simply boil it down to two, putting food into two different categories, food by God and food by man. Food by God is anything that you can catch, kill, harvest, or pick. Food by man is anything that you can't catch, kill, harvest, or pick. As an example, you can't go pick, um, say, a Cheerio. It is already processed. It comes in a package. So, let's talk a little bit about that. So, what is food by God? Anything that you can catch, kill, harvest, or pick, this would be vegetables like peas. These look like peas, don't they? Uh, what's another one? Uh, broccoli. Uh, great vegetable. Uh, another favorite of a lot of kids. Carrots. Hopefully that orange is showing up okay. Uh, carrots are great uh, food by God. Uh, so that's in the in the vegetable category. Uh, what about uh, fruits? Uh, we've got things like um, grapes. That's a food by God. He makes the grapes. We don't. It's not a food by man. There's no processing with those. <clears throat> uh, we've got other things like... Uh, Looks like a heart, like an apple, uh, is a food by God. Um, of course, uh, so along the same lines as an orange, uh, any of your citrus fruits are food by God. Um, and then, of course, other things that, that, are, that are food by God uh, that you can catch uh, or kill uh, would be things like, uh, say, a fish. Uh, I'm not going to try to draw a cow or a pig or anything like that because you would make fun of me. Um, but a fish, uh, cows, pigs, um, venison, deer, uh, buffalo, any of those meats, those are all things that you can catch or kill. Uh, so therefore they fit into the uh, food by God category. So what is food by man? Food by man basically, like I said, is anything that's processed. It, it can be, take a food by God put it through some processing and it would then be a food by man. So some people think, well, it's still good for you, but this is the better category to go with here. So I'm, I'm talking things like, um, oh, what's a good example? Something like um, french fries. The orange isn't showing up very well. But french fries come from a potato, but obviously it's not uh, the way that God made it. Uh, something else that may be uh, food by man that mimics the food by God would be that people think may be healthy would be like a, a, a fruit roll up. Uh, they think, well, it's got fruit juice in it, so it's got to be good for you. Not necessarily. The fruit itself is what you need to be eating. Uh, much, much better for you. Um, another uh, good example of that would be um, something like a, a, a chicken nugget. Um, uh, very, very processed meat um, as opposed to eating, the, eating it the way that God made it. Um, uh, what's another one? Uh, well, we can look at almost any cereal uh, out there. Um, promoted as healthy, however, um, not necessarily because there's a lot of processing that goes on. So instead of eating an apple, some people say, well, I'll eat apple jacks then. Um, not as healthy for you. A lot of processing uh, between the two. Uh, the apple jacks doesn't even resemble uh, uh, an apple. For that matter, it doesn't even taste the same. Um, uh, another example, the, the, as far as food by God, the one drink that he does provide for us uh, would be water. Um, however, we've taken that water and we've made it into, and again, don't make fun of my drawing, we made it into Kool-Aid. Remember the Kool-Aid man? He's, a, he's a, a fun character to look at when I was a kid, at least on, on, uh, on cartoons. Um, but my point is, when you're trying to make a decision between between what food's healthy for you, what food's not healthy for you, the more food by God that you can eat, the healthier you're going to be. The more food by man that you're going to eat, not so healthy. So take that as your healthy video thought of the week. Uh, I thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, any comments that you put on there. Not about my artistic ability, though. You can keep those to yourself because, as you can see, I'm not very good, but that's okay. Um, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on your healthy video thought of the week.